So following on from last week's presentation about organisation, um, this is a bit more about the daily routine um, so that you know what to do. Um, our class starts at 8.30 in Red Buses. So if you could bring your children to the main entrance for 8.30 in the morning, then an adult will take them from you and bring them over to the classroom. Um, because of all the COVID guidelines, uh, can you please make sure that your child is ready to go into school but with, with the adult because we're not allowed to have any adults on site. So um, if they could be, they can be holding your hand but obviously then you just need to pass them over to the adult to bring them over to the classroom. Um, when they come in, they'll bring with them, um, can we have a coat please? I mean obviously it's dependent on the weather but we never really know what's going to happen with English weather and we regularly get children without coats and, and get rain so please bring a coat every day. Uh, they'll need to bring their reading folders and uh, you'll be issued a planner on the first day and that planner needs to be in the reading folder every day which will go along with their reading book. Um, they'll have their own peg inside the classroom so they can bring everything and put it onto their own peg. They need to bring a water bottle with them as well which needs to be clearly labelled and a healthy snack. So as part of the snack time, which your child will have every day, um, there is milk available, but you do need to register for that on the Cool Milk website. Um, there is a link on our school website, or you can uh, just call the office and have a word with Mrs Woolley. She will direct you to where you need to go for the milk. Um, a piece of fruit is also provided every day. Um, but if you do want to bring a, a snack to school as well in their bags, that's fine. Please make sure there's no nuts and that it is a healthy snack like cheese and crackers or a cereal bar or raisins or something like that. Now for lunchtime there will be a little FS bubble where we'll all sit together in the hall and we, your child will be supported by a teacher or a TA during that lunchtime. Um, please let us know if there's any food allergies or diarrhea dietary requirements that we don't know about again please call Mrs Woolley and let her know um, your child can also bring a pat lunch if they really don't want the school dinner for that day that's fine as well but please make sure that your child knows if they are a lunch or a, a school dinner or a pat lunch on that day as we need to know for the register that day thank you so they'll need to have their lunch box with them also clearly labeled please and uh, their PE kit. So um, PE kit is black shorts, a white top, black plimsolls, and then something for outdoor PE as well. Now, if you feel like you really need to take their PE kit home and wash it on a Friday, then we can do that, we can send it home on a Friday. But in my experience, if it goes home on a Friday, it doesn't always come back on a Monday. So I'm very happy for you to bring their PE kit and leave it here until the end of half term. Um, that will just live, live, live on their peg. And if you could please make sure that everything in the key kit is very clearly labelled as well, because that does tend to get into everybody's bags. They do tend to get a bit mixed up. Um, so basically, if we're, we're trying to encourage independence, if you could make sure that your children have got everything with them when they need to come in so that they can carry everything. Um, at the end of the day, uh, they'll be collected from the main entrance at 10 past 3 and, and the, your child will be brought to you from the classroom over to the main gate. And if you could please just make sure that you're prompt at 10 past 3 as we've got different children leaving from different entrances um, at different times of the day. So that'd be great. Thank you. So I've mentioned planners going in your child's reading folder. Um, you will be, be issued a planner on the first day. We've already signed the homeschool agreement from school's point of view and we'll be asking you to read please and sign um, the homeschool agreement from the parent. Um, it says that you will read with your child daily because we find that the children who read daily make much more progress, learn to read quicker and then basically the rest of their learning will follow on from that. Um, if you could make a note of your daily reading in the planner, that's our main form of communication. It's also a way for you to let us know if you've got any concerns or anything that you need to talk to us about. There's space for you to write that in, in the planner. Um, their reading book needs to be in their 
uh, reading folder every day please because we'll always try and read with children more often if we can. Teachers will read with the child every week but if we've got other adults available we'll always try and fit in an extra read if we can. Also in their reading folder will be their home learning book um, so we set homework on a Friday night and send your child's home learning book home with them and then we collect it in on a Monday. So it could be anything really, all sorts of lovely creative things to do together and if you could send it in on a Monday so that we can have a look through it and then send it out again on the following Friday.